very clever. And you know what? He is completely unshakable. And now, after that Ghoul's Realm match that he lost in, his back is against the wall at Jordan Castle. I think Alan Angels is more dangerous than he's ever been before. Daniel Hill may be flying under the radar on this one, being a debutante. The other three in this match have been in before, but Diego Hill may be looking to spoil all of their returns. Travis Williams is someone who's been a real standout to me over the past few months. I know he's abrasive, he's rude, and he doesn't care about ruffling some feathers, but you know what? He knows how to create his own luck, and that is something in professional wrestling that you just can't teach. It's not the person who shoots first, it's the one that shoots last, and that was Travis Williams. Cruz seems to put on muscle every time I see him, bigger every time I see him, and he's just throwing around Alan Angel. And that's the kind of luck I was talking about. Travis Williams is so clever being able to get himself in the best possible position. Almost got a win there. Change of direction on a dime. Travis Williams is so talented. Forget what you think about the guy. We both agree. Just because you're the biggest guy in the match doesn't mean you can't jump over the top rope into the outside. Cruz spent a little too much time enjoying that victory from going over the top rope, and Diego Hill was able to capitalize. And that is what makes Alan Angel so good. He finds his moment. He knows how to pick his spot. Diego Hill just showed us he is faster than technical ability. He's faster than power. He's faster than experience. All in one go, took out all three competitors. You look at the height, clearing the top rope, doesn't touch it. I mean, in any case, he's walking away with a smile. He got the win, regardless of how odd it was. Jordan Cruz is someone I believe is a future superstar. I think 2024 is gonna be his year, but Diego Hill, really caught a lot of eyes tonight.